All right, good morning, people of YouTube. So we are back again today with a purple deck profile this time. Um, so I'm not really known as a purple player, but with the additions in EX1, uh, Tidamon win rate has become a deck that I've really started to like playing. Um, it's so much fun now um, because we have the addition of this new Ogremon and, of course, win rate 60%. So I'm going to go over the brief combo with Mimi and Winrate um, that makes this deck kind of viable for this set. So what happens, you know, you start your turn, let's say your opponent chokes you at one. You have Mimi out and you have a level five that's coming up from your breeding area, right? You activate Winrate 60% and you tap your Mimi. So Winrate's going to put your opponent to one and you tap your Mimi, so you're going to go to zero. So it stays your turn. You evolve into a level six for free then you discard a card in your hand and trigger all of your effects with purple because that's what purple does. So we're going to go into the card choices and the deck list. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this kind of content. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, we'll start with the level twos. For the level twos, we got four copies of Sunomon because, like I said, that combo exists. And we have a bunch of other ways to discard cards, so this is just generic draw power, and that's really good. And then for the fifth egg, we have a Demi Marimon. So this is arguably the best egg in purple. It's just this egg, or this deck specifically, gets a lot of value out of the Sunomon. So that's my egg lineup. On to the level threes. We got four copies of the Gabumon that lets you draw a card and discard a card when you attack. Amazing to fuel all of your plays. We got four copies of the Goblimon that when you discard a card in your hand, you get plus 2,000. This is an amazing card in conjunction with the new Ogremon in the EX collection, because the Ogremon states you can discard a card in your hand to give this card security attack plus one whenever you attack. So if you get this in your source, then you're swinging for 7,000 um, security attack plus one, and that's super nice. That's what makes, like the Greymon, the promo Greymon, really popular in Agubon list. And you have access to that here now because you have this Ogremon. So Goblimon got a lot better with the addition of the EX collection. Um, for the rest of the rookies, we got three copies of Gazimon to shut out cards like Ice Wall and Hammer Spark and Security and the Memory Boost on your opponent's turn. We got two copies of Elecmon because this card is really good this format. Uh, blowing up rookies is pivotal in the Jessmon and the Bond matchup. And then for the last rookie, this is mostly a flex slot. You could play a two-cost vanilla. Um, you could play like Tapirmon or Labramon. I'm playing Gilmon right now because I am playing the War Growlmon combo. Um, and that will give you more memory to make more plays. So I do like this card, but this is absolutely player preference. Um, this is the total flex slot, but yeah, we're playing more rookies than an average purple list would, and that's because this deck functions more like an average deck than like Tide or than like Lilith Loop or uh, Musketeers or any of that. So let's go right ahead with the level fours. I got four copies of Ogremon and three copies of Ginkaku Promote as the main offensive engine of the deck. So this, like I said, will give you early security aggression. If you can get the swinging at security against, you know, Bond or Jessmon or e some of the most popular matchups of the format, you know, you're going to get them to three security early on, possibly even less if they can't check this card. And Ogremon is just kind of nuts for putting on that early game aggression. And Ginkaku Promote is a card that you just bring back from your trash a lot and just swing for a 6,000 body with Rush. That's better than Bushi. Um, and a lot of the instances that you're getting Ginkaku, Ginkaku Promote in play, you're playing it for free. So it's important to get this card early and get it in trash early. So that's why we're playing th three of this card and four of this card because Ogremon is absolutely nuts. Um, try it out if you don't believe me. But it's, it's a major, major offensive tool that per per Purple gets access to this set. And uh, purple was just lacking just generic good cards that weren't combo pieces. So 
For the rest of the level 4s, I got one copy of the BT6 Ogre Mon that lets you pop a level 4 or lower. This is also good, this format, and it provides good utility, but you don't really need to play more than one. I got one copy of the one cost to evolve blocker Devimon, because it's another blocker, and I'm playing three copies of Vilemon. So, rather than playing a fourth Vilemon, I opted for one copy of the Devi. Um, and it's working. You know, this is bad in the Jessmon matchup, but it's good if you just want a cheap Evo, so that's fun sometimes. But, yeah. That's my level 4 lineup. On to the level 5s. We got three copies of Lady Devimon, because this card is nuts. Um, it basically sets you up whenever you evolve into it and its inheritable effect is not bad at all this format we got three copies of black war Graumon. this card lets you provide a lot of aggression especially in conjunction with titamon um when titamon gets to security attack plus one and you're giving yourself the ability to swing twice that's kind of insane um and yeah, the Inheritable to play a Rookie, or not the Inheritable, the Digiburst effect to play a Rookie isn't bad either, but most of the reason you're playing this is for that sick Inheritable. And then the last level 5 I'm playing is a single copy of Skull Greymon. This card can give you a good answer to Jessmon if you can discard it and put it under a blocker. Um, you don't really need to play Rebellimon if you play this, and uh, that's kind of the logic there. And this card also will let you have a level 5 that you can like stop on top of because whenever you swing with this it'll go up to 10,000 and you can just discard a card and start fueling your plays that way so this is nice I do like this card but I wouldn't play more than one and yeah those are the level 5s on to the level 6s I got 3 copies of Titamon mainly because I only own 3 but in testing I've really liked Mastamon as well in pairing so I'm playing the three Tida and the two Mastamon, um, especially with win rate, right? So what you're doing is you're playing Mastamon for a single memory with if, if you have just one Mimi on board. You're playing this for one memory, you're trashing a security, you're pulling back a Ginkaku Promote, and you're swinging with this, you're swinging with the Ginka Ginkaku Promote, and then if you have the War Graumon under it, you can trash the Ginkaku Promote and swing again with Mastamon. So you spent one memory, and you're checking four security. That's kind of insane. Um, same with Titamon. Titamon is absolutely nuts. Um, except with Titamon, you can potentially check five that way. And this is just an, am an amazing card, and it's a good generic boss monster that isn't super combo reliant, which is something that Purple severely lacked. Like, most of Purple cards were just hey, look at how many cards I can combo off of each other. And these are just good cards that let you play an extra body, that let you swing face. And this is just kind of an aggressive deck. So other options that you could play is uh, you could play Chaos Gallantmon, you know, old reliable. Everybody loves this card. Um, it's not as good as some people think it is. And I think these two are just generically better, especially this format. However, if you do really like Chaos Gallantmon, this is a good deck to try it out in. So, just wanted to point that out there. But yeah, that's my level 6 lineup. I really like it. Going straight ahead into the level 7s, I got two copies of Zwart. Uh, Zwart will let you pull back blockers. If you get the Mega Digimon Fusion playoff, you can go into Zwart and pull back Double Promote or... Um, blocker promote or even sometimes you can pull back a level five and then get another evolution that way and Zwart's just a really good card in purple helps set up your trash helps set up your board and it helps kill your opponent's digimon so really really like what it does for this deck and i think it's the ideal level seven to play here you could play something like millennium mon as well but Zwart just has so much potential in a deck like this that i think it's I think it's kind of wrong to not at least include one in your list, but if you wanted to go one Zwart and like one Millennium, I would totally respect that. On to the Tamers. I got the two copies of Mimi because it's just amazing. It fuels the Mimi win rate play, and Mimi's also just generically a lot better this format. So if your opponent is playing Gabu Bond and they want to choke you at one, 
and they play an ice wall. They play their ice wall, you get put to one, you tap your Mimi, and then you go to two, and then Mimi unsuspends at the start of your turn. And then you get two attacks. So this is just generically... It makes your matchup against Gabu Bond a lot better than some of the other decks have a time with, just because this card makes playing into Ice Wall a lot easier. And if your opponent's trying to play like Hammer Sparks, they can go Hammer Spark, gain a memory, and you can go Mimi, take that memory away. And it's it makes them have to have two Hammer Sparks for every one that they would need. And it's just really, really nice. It does stack. That's why we are playing the two. And you do need to see it at some point in the game before you are going to evolve into a level six. But this deck has a lot of filtering, so I think two is kind of the magic number here. Now, the other tamer that we do play is two copies of Analog Youth. This card is absolutely nuts for this deck because it lets you, again, set up your trash, it sets up your hand, and the effect to hatch an egg and gain a memory isn't going to trigger that often. But if something goes wrong and your Titamon dies in security, then you're going to be thankful that you have this effect. So I do really like this for what it does for the deck. Plus, it also provides a white tamer so that you can activate Mega Digimon Fusion, which is just absolutely a busted card. If you saw my banless prediction video, I predict Mega Digimon Fusion to go to zero. I could see the argument for it going to one, but I think this card is absolutely busted. And whenever you get the combo off to like go win rates 60% into your level six for one memory, and then you Mega Digimon Fusion on top of that, and then you can just win the game off of that one interaction. It's not consistent enough to play multiples in my opinion like two max you could play two copies of this card max um because it will just win you the game right then and there however it is a brick in your hand until you are going for the play to activate this so i do like it i would include it in the list and uh whenever you get it off it just feels sacky so that's always fun i'm playing one copy of jack raid one copy of purple memory boost and one copy of Underworld's Call as the one of options of the deck. Um, they're all really good cards, and there aren't or there's not room in the deck to play more than one copy of any of them. I, unless you wanted to cut one of these for a second copy of one of these. Um, for a while, I was playing two Purple Memory Boost and one Jack Raid, but this is a deck that Jack Raid, you get a lot of value off of because you can Jack Raid and then tap your Mimi. And just even if they have a memory blocker in play, if you have like a uh, Lady Devimon under it, you can activate Jack Raid, have them block the effect to gain the memory, but then gain the memory from the Mimi and then use uh, Lady Devimon and pop their rookie. And that in and of itself is a great play. So just having a zero cost option that you can just sit on in your hand for whenever you need it is just worth playing one of in the deck, for in my opinion. Um, Underworld's Call, especially with Mimi, can get kind of busted. If you have two of these in play, then you can Underworld's Call and pull back a Ginkaku Promote for just two memory and get a free security check that way. And that's kind of fun. Um, plus, you know, it has the effect that if you discard it, you get to draw. And that can help you set up if you draw this card early game. Um, and then Purple Memory Boost is just a good consistency piece. Um, and it's a way to gain memory in this list. And it's never going to get blocked by cards like Madoki Betamon or Terriermon because you have Lady Devimon. So really do like these cards, and uh, they're kind of nuts. So the last card in the list is obviously the two copies of win rate 60%. This is kind of the heart and soul, and, and it it's what makes this deck a lot better than it was just in BT6. Like, this is a deck that, in my opinion, got no direct support except this card in Ogremon. And that's all the direct support that it needed um, because these cards make the deck infinitely better. Um, and yeah, that's my profile. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know I don't typically bring you guys purple list, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one because this is by far my favorite purple list to play, um, at least right now. Um, and when the EX2 collection comes out, we get the Super Beals Amon Turbo, and that sounds like a lot of fun. But for now, we got Tida Turbo, and 
It's a good cheap deck, and I recommend you guys give it a shot. So, as always, hope you guys have a good one. Until next time, bye everyone.